Alright guys, welcome back. Psycho Enigma here for part two of the Pokemon Red Plus Plus playthrough. Hard difficulty. In the last part, we got ourselves our starter Charmander. We caught ourselves Mankey and Pikachu. And I have done some grinding off screen to get everyone up to level 10. Just to do the rival battle. And then we're going to proceed through Viridian Forest today. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just butchered some bits together, but... You know, it's all in good fun. All in good fun. Wow. Why the, why the wild Nidoram? Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Just get out of here. So I know our rival usually has, at this point, has a um, Pidgey and his star. So, hey, Enigma. You're going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guy won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? I don't know, man. You tell me. So it'll be interesting to see if there's a level curve or new Pokemon difference. Fuck. <laughs> Just a bit. Alright. EVA. Oh. Oh god. Oh god, level 10 may not have been enough. Baby doll eyes. What does that do? That lowers my attack. That's fine. You can have a thunder shock. Wow, that did fuck all. Uh, George! George, go! <laughs> Yeah, you can lower my attack, but George has George has low kick. Cause you're still a normal type. Sand attack. Man, why you got why you gotta be like that? Why you gotta be like that? Use the low kick. Destroy Eevee. Thank you very much. So much XP. So much XP. About to use Rattata. Um You lower my attack a couple of stages, so I think I'm gonna switch. I'll switch into Rex, but then I'll switch back into George. Because of low kick. And that Rattata actually does quite a lot of damage. Emma did alright though. Emma did okay. Uh, let's go back into George though. Focus energy. Okay, that's that's fine. Because he can, he can go for the crit. i got no problem with that. Low kick. Goes for the tail whip. Alright bro. Sucks to be you. Wabam. Down for the count. And I get the crit. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> nice, George, level 11. Good job, George. About to use Pidgey. Yes. This is where Mascot comes into his own. Because we got Pidgey, and then we're going to have Squirtle, who I'm going to assume is level 11. That Thundershock, though. Thundershock's a relatively weak move, so it's, of course, not going to do all that much. But does the job in two attacks, which is absolutely fine. There we go, mascot up to level 11. Gaining that one in special before he brings out the squirrel. And it is level 11, as I predicted. As just over half damage, the mascot will be able to finish this up right here. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Rival Dickbag was defeated. Did not luck out, man. I merely had a rough guess at what you were going to bring. Looks like he's pretty much caught a lot of things you can get from around here, but uh, off you go, dickbag. Bye bye now. What would be so funny is if he's got like random encountered. That'd be quite funny. Okay, so that's well, that's the first battle against dickbag defeat. We will, of course, have a rematch with him there later on once we have all eight gym badges. Uh, but we're going to heal up now, and we're going to proceed through Viridian Forest. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get through it and through the pewter today. No point in sort of just dicking around, is there? You know? Right, so we're going to have... I mean, I want everyone to level, ideally. Um, so we're going to be doing a lot of switches with Rex. Um, I mean, George, George and Rex do need the most experience, because I believe... They will assist me in my quest to being able to destroy Brock. Okay, so obviously we're going to want to pick up every item that we can see in here as well. So we are going to go for those. Oh, wild encounter. It's a Caterpie. I will... Mascot, why are you here? Mascot, you can, you can get all the training once we're done, actually. Nice switch. Nice switch. Because Mascot is officially not necessary in the first gym. Uh, the only problem being I don't know what level Brock is going to be. Brock is usually level 
14 with his Onyx um, in vanilla. So based upon what I just saw, he's going to have quite a few Pokemon. But that's fine. I mean, we'll have we'll have Mankey with Karate Chop, and we will have. Uh, I'm thinking Charmeleon. We're, we're going to go straight up to the Charmeleon. I usually have Charmeleon in uh, vanilla by this point. So Weedle, it's level nine. Good. Go Rex. String shot, totally fine as long as it's not Poison Sting. Because I don't have any antidotes, and if I have to go back and buy antidotes, that will make me very sad. What's Ember doing? Oh, not quite the one. Please, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Yeah, good. There we go. Get absolutely destroyed. And Caterpie, you know, all staying with Rex because I want Rex to lead the charge. If we're doing the switch training on Rex, well, not on Rex, but with George, so we need to throw George in. Rex needs to then take less damage and be able to wipe it out in not too much time. So I'm going to let Rex get all the experience for this battle. I've only got one potion as well, actually. So I don't want to have to constantly be running back to the Pokemon Center. Maybe I should go grab some supplies. I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab supplies. All right, supplies gathered, and away we go. Who are we throwing up front? I think we'll go Rex. We'll go Rex up front here. I think there's a trainer. Yep, yeah, right there. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to run, man. I plan on thoroughly destroying you. You and your bug army. Kakuna. Oh, nice. Level 11. <laughs> Shit, man. This this hard mode does not fuck around. The levels, though. Still, Rex is going to get hella experience off of this. I don't think wild Pokemon have got a buff, though. That's the only problem. I think it's literally going to be trainer Pokemon only. Level 12, though. Metapod, that's fine. We'll destroy your Metapod as well, breh. Breh. There we go. We're going to get the level up again. Oh, oh, we are. Rex immediately. Rex trying to Metal Claw. Fuck yes. Didn't even know that was a thing. Yes, we'll have Metal Claw. Fuck you, Scratch. You're no longer needed. Sweet. So that's another move and another Pokemon that is now capable of taking down Brock. Damn right you ran out of Pokemon because you fucking suck. Got an antidote. Nice. Is there a trainer up here? I know there is in yellow. There is a tree. More ore and berry. Nope. Okay. I think there's only a, like three trainers in here. Oh man. Well, Vir Viridian Forest is a bust. Take the potion. It's a bust for these wild encounters as well, man. It's got a Butterfree. Already. I like the way you've gone up two levels from the last trainer. That's... It's impressive. Oh man, this Butterfree. This Butterfree. Oh, what? Rex! Rex surviving the status. Come on, Rex. One more. One more, Rex. Do it. Do it, please. <gasps> so close. Now you get... Yes. Fucking, I was waiting for that. Why are you still using poison powder? The hell is wrong with you? 445 experience. Look at that. About to use Beedrill. Yeah, we'll change. We'll change into uh, into George, I think. Obviously, I want to actually get the. Um, I want to get all of the all of the experience with this. So, well, not for George, but I mean, we'll see how much damage he can do. Because I think Beedrill should only still only have like Poison Sting and Twin Needle at this point. Oh no, he's got Fury Attack. Shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Two times. That's fine. Uh, so what we're going to do... Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to... 
We're going to switch back into Rex. That's fine. Rex can take it. Rex is a big, big Pokemon. He got the crit, though. Got the... Is it all a crit? If it criticals... It's all a crit. Fucking hell. Ember, let's go. Let's go, Ember. Oh, so... Oh! We got the burn! Yes. Right. And now... That's fine. Because we've burned and his attack super reduced. Fuck you, be drill. Oh my god, come on, Fury Attack. Just end. End, please. There we go. Fully paralyzed, you piece of shit game. <laughs> Doing it for the XP, remember. Not a Nuzlocke, guys. Not a Nuzlocke. Doing it for the XP for both Pokemon. And now he dies. Way. Wait, are they both getting... Are they both going to get 400? Because that's how it fucking works in Gen 6. That's how it works in Gen 6. Of course it is. Well. Good day, sir. It went and evolved. Oh, wow. So, what that... I think that tells me that you get Leafy on by leveling up Eevee in that forest. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, we gonna we gonna do the thing. Well, I don't think we we're, we're nowhere near strong enough to take on Brock. We are absolutely nowhere near strong enough to take on Brock. Not at all. Anyone else over here? Good day, sir. Team Rockets at Mount Moon. Oh, well, shit. Well, um, I mean, I can't take on Brock. I'm going to be super weak. Super weak at this point to be taken on Brock. So, I don't even want to try because, I mean, out of interest, out of interest, let's, let's go and see the trainer's Pokemon. If we see the trainer's Pokemon, that will be a gauge on how strong Brock's going to be. Right? Let's see. Let's find out. How many Pokemon you got, son? You got two Pokemon. One's usually a Sandshrew. You have a Diglett. It's level 14. It's fucking level 14. Great. Great. Fant it's pretty strong as well. It's a strong old Diglett. The thing with Diglett is it's like a... It's a very fast glass cannon is what Diglett is. So I think George will have no issues whatsoever mopping this Diglett up. But it is a lesson that we are going to need to grind. Um, so I'm going to need to do more grinding before facing Brock. Yeah! Fucking great. George, though. Wrecking house. Not quite level 12. Or level 13, should I say. Right. Now we're going to switch. Because that way it will get, um, George will get to level 13. You've got Pin Missile. I don't think you've got any ground moves yet. I don't think he does. I don't think Sandshrew has ground moves at the moment. One more of those. Oh, and the burn. We're getting the burn so much. So good. There we go. Oh, now with Ember, this should take him out. Nice. Good job, Rex. Level 13. Do you learn Karate Chop now? There it is. That's what we needed. Yes. Uh, we will get rid of... Fury Swipes, because it's shit. George, learn Karate Chop. And we, need, of course, need to evolve Rex, obviously. Darn. Light years measures distance and stuff. Yeah, we're not ready for Brock. We're not ready for Brock at all. We need at least a couple more levels uh, and Charmeleon, if I'm going to be honest. But we get Charmeleon at 16 anyway. Um, so I'm going to level both the guys up off screen. And then, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm not going to make you wait another episode for Brock. I'm not going to do that because that would be a dick thing to do. 
We're doing Brock this episode. We're just going to go level up a little bit. That's what we're going to do, yeah. George needs to get to 16. Rex. Uh, I think I'm going to get them both to a level. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> right, so some grinding occurred. Um, couldn't be bothered with fucking mascot because mascot sucks. Quite simply, mascot sucks. So no point in him in this gym. George is level 16. He has 33 attack. 29 speed, so he's pretty quick. And he has Karate Chop, so that's good. And then we got Rex, who evolved into Charmeleon, as you would have seen. And he has Ember, Metal Claw, and Dragon Rage. So I think we're looking alright. The, the addition of Dragon Rage was ridiculous. So, I think we're all good for Brock's gym battle now. Dragon Rage is going to pretty much seal the deal. Because Dragon Rage will do 40 HP damage to everything. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter's gym leader. Strictly speaking, the way that's apostrophized, that's Pewter is. But there you go. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. <laughs> He's got three Pokemon now. You know what I said? Mascot wasn't necessary. Fuck! <laughs> the Aerodactyl out of nowhere. Worse than the RKO out of nowhere. It's fine, you can use Agility Bre. I have Thundershock. It's fine, it's not very effective, but your attack's probably going to be pretty decent. Oh god, that did nothing. Oh dear sweet Jesus. Oh no, that's gonna kill. That's gonna kill. <gasps> Mascot with the clutch! Mascot with the clutch and no paralysis. Fuck sticks. Uh, we're gonna go Rex. Rex. Oh no, he's used agility. Oh, he's used agility again. There goes any hope I had of being faster. Uh, Metal Claw. That stab. That damage isn't too ridiculous, so that's fine. That XP though, that XP though, everyone getting all the experience. About to use Omastar. George away. Has he literally just replaced his team with like fossil Pokemon? Still, we have the power of the Karate Chop. High crit chance of Karate Chop. It's not bad. Aurora B. <laughs> Oh damn. I was not expecting this. This is this is pretty cool. This is a nice change of pace. There we go though, but almost star is down. I legit thought we was just gonna have higher levels. But um may have overtrained for this one. George is trying to learn seismic toss. Um no seismic toss is pretty garbage. No. Yes. And about to use Kabutops. Yes, I figured you were going to. Level 15. I suppose that's not so bad. So we'll stay out with George. We'll Karate Chop. That's about half. Rock Tomb. I was going to say, I didn't... Th Fuck! That damage for not very effective, though. There we go. Crit. Unnecessary crit. George... George the Lad Mankey. Oh, yes. Brock was defeated. Damn right, you took me for granted. Well, in all fairness, I was like, he's just going to have higher level Onyxes. No, he's got fucking fossil Pokemon. That was absolute madness. Take this with you. That'll be the TM for Rock Tomb. Yep. Cool story. Shut up, Brock. Shut up, Brock. All right. Well, that was uh, that was Brock. <laughs> Note to self: don't, don't take him for granted. Don't, 
But now, with gym leaders, be prepared for anything. So what's Misty going to have if she's water type? Strictly speaking, she could also have Armistar and Kabutops. Um, I imagine she will still... Then again, Brock didn't have any of his Pokemon. He didn't have his Geodude and his Onyx. Okay. She's probably got fucking Gyarados or some shit. But that's fine. We've got we've got Mascot. It's fine. But that has been it for today. Um, episode 2, and we already have a gym badge, so we can't really complain of that too much. So, uh, next couple of parts probably going to be me trekking through Mount Moon. Um, don't know when they're going to go up because I, I've done a massive bulk recording of many things today and I ain't got a fucking clue when anything's going up. But uh, do leave a like if you have enjoyed and comment any feedback down below. I'm enjoying the hype for the brand new Pokemon series on the channel. Let's keep it going. Please, of course, do hit that subscribe button if you want to be the first to be notified of all the content coming to the channel. And I will see you all next time.